Hey everyone, Daniel Builds here again. I was previously going through K-Town and I found this guy. It's got um, a hook thing. I know that it's green and it's piloted by a little anime girl. I figured, why the heck not? Uh, this is the Hekaja heck, 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 model of a Gundam. It's a it's a 144 scale. It's 144, which is a it's a great scale. 144. The bigger the number, the uh, the, the bigger the the boy. Um, but anyways, if this is your first Daniel builds, first we open them up. Let's see if we can get some of that packaging off. There's always a proper tool for a job. Uh, I've actually used a kitchen knife. I find that that gets the uh, uh, packaging off real nice. Well, no. Gotta remember kids, if, uh, if you don't feel good about making a cut to always ask your parents, but here we go. Oh, that appears to be a lot of shipping dust. So when you get these things directly from Japan, we've got our stickers, never forget the stickers. When we get these things directly from Japan, sometimes in order to keep them safe, they put uh, dust throughout. It's kind of like those silica packets, but they're generations of tech behind us, so they actually just put it loose in there. This is more of a, a powdery white substance that, um, I've had multiple doctors tell me, do not eat it. So in here you can find the, uh, the manual, which uh, is basically our Bible. Um, this is what you're gonna wanna do. It's, it's basically, there's a lot of Japanese in here, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, then we've got uh, our plastic runners, which uh, looks like this one's already been opened. Um, with these, these plastic bags, make sure that you throw them away immediately. Uh, they do become choking hazards, and that has come up in the past. Any uh, of you guys remember my first two videos? Oh, here's our culprit. It appears that some of the packing dust actually got s stuck in this bag, so we'll deal with that later. Actually, this this leads into my, my patented toolbox. Now, you can pick these up below as well. In this, we have our nipper tool, great for uh, taking the pieces off of the runners. Super glue for if uh, you make any mistakes. We've got the scalpel. We've got the marker. Tweezers. Most of the rest of the stuff you don't really need. It's all kind of garbage. It makes the pack look more filled. It's really only those five main tools that you need. All right, so here we go. Starting on page one, uh, I'm gonna clear my area a little, uh, just so I can have something to work with. Not sure where that guy came from, but uh, clip the pieces off. This looks like it's an A, and I'll go to my overhead camera. That's the A. Go by the numbers and just kind of clip along here. So I will do my patented Daniel Builds fast forward. Now, I often find um, that cutting the pieces out is the most uh, time consuming part, but if you listen to music or a podcast or even just the rest of the my videos that you've subscribed to, take in what building Gundams is all about. Uh, cheese noodles. Um, sometimes you will over trim a piece by accident. That can always be fixed. Um, as you can see, I've finished up with that main runner there. Uh, I, I'm now going to move on to the B. Uh, fuck. I apologize for that. Sometimes I get a little too into the build and I forget my manners. Uh, like, like Bob Ross. The painter said, uh, any, any mistakes or happy little accidents. So I have the first part cut out now. Um, now I can start, start doing some of the cutting. So you're going to want to kind of slide this sharp scalpel and I'll hold that up to, not sure if my over the shoulder camera can get that one, but it's just a very, very, very sharp knife. We are selling these in the kits, but I do not want any of, uh, you guys using them without any parental supervision. Um, so I often find that the, the cutting away is often the most time consuming portion of uh, making the Gundam. This is where you're really separating the, uh, the men from the boys or the, uh, the unprofessional Gundam builders from the professionals. 
because th those little nibs are what, what really detract from the overall Gundam. So the more time that you can spend just kind of careful. Oh, ow. Sorry, this is kind of embarrassing. Mom, this one's a bad one. Mom, mom, quick, mom, please. All right, guys, so um, because of that little accident that we had with the scalpel, my mom took it away. Uh, luckily, she bandaged me up. Um, I completed some of the, uh, most of the model left. I tried to clean up a little. He looks like this so far. Uh, I got all the pieces attached. I got all the little nubs off that I could without the scalpel. Pretty happy with him so far. Uh, I had to super glue some parts. I think that this was a cheaper kind because uh, a lot of them just did not fit together. But now I figured that we could start putting the stickers on. Um, all right, so I will just put all these bad boys on. You know, um, I'll put the stickers on later. I'll start demoing the lines, uh, how we do lines here. Generally, what I like to do is anytime that you see something like that, I generally will color that in just doing all this kind of detail work. And then the nice thing about the markers is that you can wipe away the excess. Uh, that doesn't really come out that clear. For instance, these little marks, you can kind of edge around and that way the lines stand out, you know? That's the whole point of the marker. You can fix a lot of stuff with markers. I find that um, markers are the most time consuming portion of it, um, but it really separates the men from the boys and the, the, the good built Gundams from the, the not so great ones. Uh, you'd be surprised what the markers can actually accomplish. So I'll actually skip, skip forward and just show me detailing a lot of this stuff here. And then uh, I'll see you when we're with the final product. All right guys, so I finished all the detail work. I think that you're really gonna like how this one came out. Uh, we have a few accidents along the way. I think that this one's a keeper. I think that it's one of the better ones that we've done, and uh, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep continue down the the Iron Blood Orphan line. So, without further ado, here we are, our finished Gundam. Uh, you can see that he's got the gun and the pickaxe. He's uh, kind of auto focus in on that guy. Is it doing it? And then uh, I think that he came out excellent. The, the detail work uh, with the marker really saved the day there. I think that this is a definite winner for the collection. Uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. So if this guide helped you for how to build your Gundams, uh, if you want to see me build more of that Blood Orphan line, then pulverize the like button, ring the little notification bell so that you get all of my videos, uh, hit subscribe. Anything that you could do helps out, buying the t-shirts, buying the branded toolbox, anything. Uh, and thanks guys, uh, happy building. Thank fucking God that's over.